All that matters is this year and our team this year and how we did. What did it mean to sweep Michigan State as far as the conference goes? Absolutely huge. It was one of the best teams in the Big Ten, ranked for us. You know, we beat them at home, winner ranked first. Uh, I mean, we're, we're looking to win the Big Ten, so you got to sweep Michigan State if you want to you win, win the Big Ten. Jared, you guys look dialed in, especially on defense from the very beginning. What was kind of the key defensively to kind of setting the tone and matching their aggressiveness? Just being tough. Just, just came, coming out and, and showing our toughness and showing what we can do. You had to do that for obviously 40 minutes. You got, you've been a part of some games against them where you've been up and then kind of faltered. What was the difference tonight? Why, did, why were you able to push through? I mean, we had a lot of fight. A lot of guys stepped up and made big plays for us, and we didn't back down at any point in time. What did you learn from the Iowa State game that made the second half irrelevant tonight? Oh, that, that was a tough loss for us. You know, you're up 20 or whatever we were in Iowa State in the first half. You talk about that at halftime? No. no don't. You, don't, you don't bring it up. You, you learn from it. You talk about it for a day, you move on. You know, and then, and then you get in a situation like this, and you take those things that you learned, and put them in action. You guys had a nine-day layoff. Any idea you got would come out and take a 22-point lead in the first half here? No, you know, that's tough because usually nine days, you, you get in a little bit of a lull, you know. You don't get really in game shape, and you practice it, and it can be tough, but I think everybody on the team did a really nice job of staying in the gym and staying locked in. You guys look like the tougher team out there, like you knew you could be that coming in a little bit. Did you? Anything you saw at all? Anything? Uh, I mean, five offensive rebounds in one possession. That's not something you see here very often. I mean, I'm just going back to toughness. We, we knew we were, better, we were the better team from the get-go, and we wanted to come out and prove it. We did. Shooting was more of a fight. Michigan State got down. They, they fought us as hard as they could. You know, I think they gave us their best fight both times. You can't say that they didn't fight us because they came out and wanted to punch us in the face. You know? When you go back. Scott was talking about the 2013 Big Ten tournament. These guys had your number for a while, and a lot of those games kind of stick in your crawl. How, how nice is it to sort of put those to bed with these two wins, and this one specifically? Like I said before, those other years are different teams. We got a, we got a new team this year, and I think that's how you got to approach every year. I mean, each year, it doesn't matter what happened the last 20 years. It's, it's what, ha what matters is what happens this year. So we got a, we got a different team. They got a different team, and we came up with a win. Shooting was crucial for you guys. I think you were seven of eleven at one point, shooting from three in the first half, and uh, you were able to defend the three that you know that well. Um, do, what was it? Uh, you know, I mean, did you guys just feel in a groove uh, collectively, you and Peter especially? You know, we had a lot of open looks, and that started on the defensive end, mm -hmm. and we really locked up. We got into them, got into their space, and made them uncomfortable, and then. Pushed in transition, we got a couple of threes in transition, and, and it kept them scrambled on the uh, when we were on offense. So the 14 turnovers you forced them into in the first half, as important as anything in this game. Absolutely, you know our, our defensive pressure and and how we got up into them was it was absolutely critical. You know you, you beat Michigan State when they're number one now number four um, nationally. That's going to get a lot of people's attention. How do you guys kind of? stay level-headed, especially when you have Michigan coming in who beat a number three team? You think about it, we beat Michigan State ranked number one. We went to Purdue and, and got a win. Those are two huge wins. And then we play Nebraska, which is a very good team. Mm -hmm. But we could have we done that before. Yeah. So I think we've proven that we can, we can take those wins and, and, and keep building on it.